Hey guys, Vikas over here and this is VR Genius guys. Today I am with a new video around Raspberry Pi where you will see how to run your application by default when the Pi boots up. So this is pretty much useful like in your embedded system applications when you intended to run a certain application when the Pi boots because you don't want to go again and again and run it by using a keyboard or something or doing it by SSH again and again. Okay. So uh, in this particular tutorial we are going to see 4 different methods to achieve it. Okay. So let's check it out guys. Let's see how to do it. So guys I have SSH into my Raspberry Pi from my desktop. Okay, so I am having a remote terminal over here. And first let's see. Uh, let's navigate into the desktop over here. Desktop. And over here you can see a file is there that is test.jar. This is a simple Java application that I have developed which will do nothing but it will write down a text file into the desktop folder containing the current date as well as some text. Okay. So as we will be testing different methods of auto run of our application. So we can know if the application has run or not by simply uh, just looking at that particular text file. If it is getting created successfully, that means our application has run. Okay. So I have provided a link down below so that you can download the particular jar file and test it yourself. So the first method we are going to try is to run our Java application by using cron tab. So for that, I just need to edit the cron tab file. Okay. So to do that, I'll simply have to issue a command by using superuser or sudo then front app minus c minus c is or is nothing but to edit right oh, sorry my mistake uh, front app okay. and over here we just need to write at the it reboot so this tells us when the pi reboots the particular command following this will be run. Okay, or uh, the particular script or application, anything which uh, follows it will run. Okay? Uh, so actually, current app provides much more like flexibility. Like you can run your application as you want, uh, like you can schedule it at certain interval and all those things. But for today's tutorial, we are going to focus on reboot only. Okay? So first thing is we are going to provide the path to Java that is user slash bin slash java okay then type of file we are going to run is your java file if you are new to java application and raspberry pi you can check out my other tutorial where i will have shown how to run and compile a java application in raspberry pi okay so i will just provide a link down below so you can follow so then again the path it's uh, the complete path to my java application that is home slash pi slash desktop slash desktop okay. so there is all it requires now save it by using ctrl x then press y enter now we are let's make sure we don't have any other text file in the desktop folder by using the command ls okay. that will list the file in the directory so now we don't have any text file over here so it's going to restart and check if the file is getting created over here so to do that I will simply issue the command sudo ok just wait for some time till the pi gets created but uh, guys one issue with uh, this cron tab is you can't run GUI application by using cron tab because uh, the Front tab runs first, then only the GUI components of your Pi or something uh, gets initialized. So you can just tweak around it if you are interested to run graphical application or like something like kiosk and all. So you can tweak around it and you can try to run your GUI application. Okay. But there are already ways where you can use uh, like uh, use your Pi to auto put into your particular GUI application. Okay. So it'll be covering it in our next method okay. 
Yes, okay. Uh, the rest of the is reported. Again, I am opening a new SS session. Okay, let's navigate to desktop. And type down ls, that will list the files. And over here, you can see it has created a new file.txt. Okay, so to check that, you can use nano editor sudo nano new file. There's the name of file, then the extension. Okay. So over here, you can see it has written current ID is Wednesday, August 10, and all those things. Okay, so that means our application has ran by using the front end. Okay. So it's ran automatically when the file put it. So again, I'm just going to edit the cron tab. So if next time it reboots, it is not going to run the same application. Okay. So we'll try out the method two. That is uh, by using rc dot local file. Okay. So put hashtag of before it, so it will not be executed when the file boots using the cron tab. Auto x y. Then I am going to remove the text file. That is rm. Then the name, sorry, I need to use sudo then rm. Rm is to remove the particular file, then remove file.txt. Okay, now check out we have created the text file. So let's check out the method 2 that is by using the rc.local file. So, as for method 2, we are going to use the rc.local file to auto run our application. So to do that, I just need to edit the rc.local file that is using command sudo nano slash etc slash rc dot and over here before the exit zero, we just need to put our command or the application that we want to run. It is simply using the Java application. Same over here, so we'll put user slash bin slash java there is a path to java then type of application there is jar then again path to our application the home home slash pi slash desktop slash test dot jar okay. uh, so we are going to save it by using ctrl x then press y then enter Again, uh, let's check out if uh, we have text file on the desktop folder created, or we will not get to know if that is created earlier or by using the archive local file or when it is okay. Let's check out. So, over here we don't have any text file. So, let's again reboot the file and check if the file has been created. Okay. So, to reboot, I can issue the command sudo reboot. Again, it is going to take some time. The pipe gets to the so let's open one as is decision the pipe, and we are going to navigate into the desktop folder. So, over here, you can see the new file.txt has been created once again by using our application. And this method is rc.local file, and it has ran successfully after the pipe reboot. So that means that was successful. Okay. So let's again uh, remove the content of our actual local file. So this particular application, once again, when you try the method 3, will not be run by actual local file. So that I just type sudo slash etc slash check out. Just need to remove it, or you can just put a hashtag over here. This will not be run when you will be trying the method three that is using dot dot desktop file into a auto shut folder. Okay. So let's wait. again let's remove the text file that is using sudo rm then file dot text. Now check. Okay, we don't have text file. So we are going to try the method three. That is using the dot desktop file into the auto start folder. So now, guys, the third method is using the desktop file into the auto start folder. So to do that, just so to do that, we'll navigate into dot config folder that is inside the pi. 
let's say hidden folder so you can just uh, like it will not be shown when we type ls okay but you can navigate into it okay. now over here yeah, you need to create a directory or folder that is auto start so over here you can check uh, that uh, if you are having auto start folder or not if you are not having you can create your own or if you are having earlier then you can navigate into the auto start folder so actually i have created it earlier but if you are not have you can use the command mkdir this will simply create a auto start folder okay in my case i am already having that's why it's showing error that cannot create the file it already exists so navigate into the auto start folder now okay then inside it we need to create a dot desktop file that will hold our some commands so that our application will run when the pi reboots but to use this particular method you know if we need to uh, like make your pi log into the desktop mode or gui mode by default okay otherwise if you are in console mode this method will not work so be careful about that okay so now let's make another file that is sudo nano app dot desktop okay. now this is uh, going to some uh, take some parameters that i'll be provided i'll be providing in the description okay just copy those contents and put it over here. So paste those contents over here. Uh, and over here, just need to change this particular thing. That is exec equals to. This is the command or application that is going to run when the pipe reboots or starts. Okay. Just leave other things as it is. No issue. I just need to do the changes over here. I don't have external leaves, so I don't need to add class path. And Java folder is same. We just slash bin slash Java. Then Java, then home pi desktop over here I need to change to texture Java. Guys, change it according to your application and whatever. If you are running Python or something, you can just change it according to that. If you are running Java, then this command is perfect. Just change the name of your application that you want to run. Again, press Ctrl X, Y, and hit enter to save it. Okay. Now let's navigate into desktop folder and see if we are having the text file and we are going to reboot it. Okay. Home slash file slash desktop. Now press ls. Okay, you don't have text file over here. We are good to go. We will then we put the then wait till the application starts. So actually, this uh, like the desktop file helps to run you GUI based application. Or like if you are using uh, a Pi for kiosk or something, you can use it. Again, uh, let's uh, the file is rebooted and let's open up a system again. And we need to navigate into the desktop folder to check if we have successfully created the text file. Press ls and same thing over here. Once again, it has been created but using a different method that is in the desktop file. So again, remove the text file. remove the file and we are going to test the last method that is using the init.t folder and using rc and that is using auto start rc.t so then again we need to delete the desktop file that we created earlier so that it will not again be run and the new, the new file dot it will not be created by using the desktop file. Okay, so navigate into cd dot config. 
over here go to the third folder and remove the app.txt file we created earlier yes okay, information denied i just forgot to use sudo so now we have successfully removed the file so this confirms that will uh, this particular text file will not be created again by using the desktop. So guys, to check out the last method uh, using the init.d folder and archive uh, to start, then we need to navigate into cd slash etc slash init.d folder. Okay. Over here, we create a new file. There is let's say go nano our application. Let's say test app file name okay and this is this will for contain actually contain a script that will help to run our test.jar application okay so over here just put the contents that i have provided in the description down below okay. so this is the particular content and you just need to change the last line okay so this line has to be changed if it, uh, you are using different application or different type of application not using java or something like okay, that so just change the last thing and over here in app you just need to change whatever app name you have given like for us this test app and over here again test app and you don't need to change any other thing okay so press ctrl x Y and uh, so this is a test text script that will run the test.jar file when the file boots. But uh, to make it executable, you need to provide it permission. That is sudo ch mode plus x. There is the executable permission, then the script name that is test text. Now when you type ls, you will see something like Dash tab in green color. That means it's an executable file. Okay. Or again, you can see or whatever name you have given. Okay. Now we need to register the test tab uh, script or application that will uh, into the auto start rc.d file so that this will run automatically when the file opens. Do that. Do that we need to type in sudo update hyphen rc dot d then the name application that you want to run by default that is test app and you type on defaults so just load the default settings for okay so if you are like without reporting it, you just want to check if your application is run successfully. You can uh, like so without reporting. If you want to check the test step script is working correctly, you can just type on dot enter then test step. Okay. This will uh, just run your test or jar file or whatever application we have created earlier. Okay, but uh, we are not going to test that. If you want, you can check it out. Okay. Now, once again, uh, let's make sure our dot text. Uh, so, once again, let's make sure our desktop folder doesn't have any text file. Just type in command ls, and over here you can see it doesn't have any text file. So. After rebooting, if it contains any text file, that means that has been created by using our 
this particular and cut whatever you want to use. So again, let's reboot. Wait for some time to get one second. So after rebooting Pi, just again we need to navigate into the desktop folder. Or if you are using uh, any FTP software kind of thing, you can see directly over here. Simply you can navigate into desktop folder, desktop, and over again here, here, and over here you can see once again that your file has been created. That means our application has run successfully. So in, in future, let's say you want to remove the particular script, like we did earlier with other methods. So you can do it by using command that is sudo update rsh dot e. Okay. Then minus f is equal to four. Then our app name that is step then remove so this will remove our test step from running by default so that's all with this guys we checked the four method and that's it thank you thanks for watching hey guys just me once again and hope you have liked my video if so just hit the thumbs up button or if you don't there is a thumbs down button for you also and don't forget to subscribe my channel for latest updates okay see you next time with my new content that's all guys thank you thanks for watching